Hello everyone, welcome to our channel once again. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and also leave a comment to express your thoughts on this. Jigawa State Governor Mohamed Badaru Abubakar said the northern part of the country will pay back the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in the coming 2023 general election. Governor Badaru stated this when he received Tinubu in Kano on Sunday. Reports gathered that the APC presidential candidate Ahmed Bola Tinubu visited Kano State to open his campaign offices. Tinubu was welcomed on Saturday by the governors of Kano, Jigawa, and Zamfara states at the Malam Aminu Kano International Airport alongside thousands of supporters. Addressing the mammoth crowd, Governor Mamadou Badaru, Governor, Ma Governor Muhammad Badaru said Tinubu is the only person who supported five northern presidential, presidential candidates. Governor Badaru, however, urged Northerners to come out and massively vote for the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate in the 2023 general elections. Wow. Election years is uh, a years is a year full of promises from the uh, candidates and from the people to the candidates. You know, and uh, at the end of the day, you begin to answer and ask these questions. All these promises being made, how are they going to fulfill it? You know, the the people are making promises to the candidate. The candidates are making promises to the people. But so most of the time, these promises, you know, are empty promises. Now, the the, the governor of Jigawa State has come out to make promises to Bola Ahmed Nuru. You know, promising him that the Northerners are going to pay him back, you know, for supporting five uh, presidential candidates of the Northern Extension. You know, and uh, uh, with that, that they are going to come out in, in, in all in masses to, to vote him come 2023 presidential election. That is expected. That is expected. You know, I have no issue when people make such promises. But the, the question is, all these promises being made by these people, how are they going to fulfill their promises to this candidate? Now, the funny thing about this thing is that if another presidential candidate go to them also, they, they will also make promises to them. So, this, this, this electoral year, I hear that you if you are if you're a candidate, you have to be smart, wise, and know what you are doing. Well, uh, these people who are making promises to Bola Ahmed Tinubu is expected of them. They are APC governors and APC uh, members. But with the issue and the challenges that Nigerians are facing right now, concerning the the inflation, the hunger, the frustration. And all that that is facing the country, we can't just but emphasize on this, the insecurity. Few few days ago, uh, a clergyman was attacked. And thousands of Nigeria has lost their life in the dispensation. So when you make these promises, how are you going to fulfill it? What are you going to tell your people? What are you going to tell your people that is going to be different from what they've been told in the last election? So those are the things that keep, you know, uh, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about here. I'm not saying don't make promises, but how are you going to convince your people to bring in the same government who has not done well in the past seven years, who has brought the country to his new, who made promises have never kept their, their promises, under which whom the, the insecurity of the country has gone from bad to worst, and now we are looking for remedy. So, in, in, in which what are they going to use as their key point in convincing Nigerians, especially the Northern Extension, to vote for this uh, as a candidate? Because I can't just imagine all these promises being made here and there. You know. Uh, somebody who is going to get the payback. 
this payback i don't know how if it's it, 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 that or positive or negative <laughs> you know it, it, i don't know if it's the positive or negative but uh, according to them they said that uh, abola metno has supported five uh, northern governors and uh, he's a part of the people who have made President Mohamed Buhari to become the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So in return, they are going to support him to make sure that he becomes a president. But like what I keep saying, that the people are going to pay him back. How are you going to talk to the people? How are you going to convince them? Because to me, I've not seen what APC, PDP has done that can warrant anybody to promote them and, uh, uh, and uh, also want to market them to the public. I've not seen. I'm sorry to say, but that is exactly the way I feel. I just want to say the way I feel this time around. I don't want to put sentiment and uh, uh, I don't want to put sentiment here. I want to make it plain the way I feel. You know, Bola Ahmed Nubu has been part of this government, part and parcel of this APC government. Yes, he has no political position, but everyone who, 90% of people who came from Southwest, to, be, to, to hold one position or the other is appointed by him. The vice president was nominated by him. Most of the people who are holding major political offices in, in, in President Mohammed Buhari administration are people that are his men. And the, you now look at the PDP also. You know, they, they, they've been in charge of the uh, affair of this country for 16 years. They were in charge of these affairs of this country for 16 years, and this 16 years has not, uh, cannot be justified. Yes, cannot be justified with the resources be placed under their hands. Even when the oil was sold at outrageous prices, where there was like a boom in the oil area sector, they made so much money, but what happened to all these funds? Now, these recent people are still coming out. To vie for the position of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So all these things are things that, to some extent, it get me thinking. The question is, when are we going to get it right? When are we going to get it right? In 2023, if we missed it, we are doomed. If we missed it, we are doomed. That is just it. So I am calling on every woman in Nigeria to stand up and make a decision. A decision for a new Nigeria. A decision for a new breadth of a country. A decision for a change that will bring us to prosperity and uh, abundance. A decision that will set us on a new page from the old. A decision that will help us as a country to reach our goal by electing a credible and a vibrant young man. Peter will be Labour Party. Thank you.